Growing up with the FASD is probably the most difficult thing that I ever had. You know, the foster homes that I was in is kind of, you know, a little bit difficult, but when you come out here, you're like, you know, you're free. It's actually a, a real place to be at. My name is Chris, I'm 34 years old, and I have FASD. There's many misunderstandings of, of people with FASD. Probably the biggest stigma is they're criminal, not being very smart. They blame them, and it's not fair to them at all. Chris is a great guy, I just need some guidance. So Chris, I was looking at your schedule. It looks like you got a busy day today. You got to cut some grass this morning, and you got to run to the bakery, and then uh, after lunch we'll go to the hangar. My name is Guy Borlas. I'm executive director at Wings of Power in Pine Falls. We're a uh, family resource center, and we serve the community one family at a time. Chris first came to Wings of Power as a member of the Helping Hands program. And once he got here, he, uh, he fell in love with the program. You know, we fell in love with Chris and realized it was a good fit for him. We had the opportunity to open a residential home. He was uh, our first client. We have two clients at a residential home and, and we offer them, you know, obviously a safe environment, a place where they can go and be themselves. They have 24 seven coverage. You could give them the support that he needs, uh, but also give him room to, to live his own life and be his own person. When I step through this house, it's just that, it's a good feeling that we're, you know, if I have problems, if for some reason I get, you know, one of the staff around here to talk about it. They help me at work, they help me here. They set me with a lot of goals. You know, I'm living a good life. I'm actually where I belong. Uh, my name's Raymond Bouvier. I'm the residential house manager for uh, Wings of Power in Pine Falls. I've gradually seen his confidence grow. He has a pride in his home. Uh, the independence is uh, a great thing. And uh, for Chris to succeed, that the support of people around him, good people and uh, understanding people. And I think it's, he's come a long way. The clients at, at Helping Hands, especially Chris, we found it important for him to have a purpose in his day. So that's the, the premise behind working at the local businesses. Having them be responsible, having them have to go to a, a workplace, a business on a daily routine. We want to give him a purpose in his day, a purpose in his life. My name's Dave. I work here at Sunrise Bakery and uh, I met Chris about three years ago. It's been very handy. We've started him out cleaning floors and doing dishes and he's slowly progressed up to doing all kinds of different things. Anything I need him to do, he's there and always willing to help. Programs like this are important in a community because it's an extra hand at work and who doesn't want that, right? Rolls now? Yep. We need 12 dozen for the uh, and orders. And for Chris, it, he gets to know everybody in town for all the different places he works. So he's more comfortable going from business to business because he knows those businesses. I think it's important for, you know, you talk of, of businesses and community in general to somehow get a better understanding of people with FASD and, and that they are genuine, real people. And if we can find uh, jobs for them to do, they can be a valuable member of the community and get them into businesses. They can be good employees. They just need the opportunity. And right now they don't have the opportunity. What we could do better in the community is the understanding, like even for myself, it, a few years back I had no knowledge and I just didn't understand what someone like Chris would go through every day. A simple job is not a simple job. It may be confusing and for us to understand that goes a long way. That's all I want is that understanding. I'm Ed Gaffrey, uh, I have Winnipeg River Aircraft. We do aircraft maintenance and repairs. Chris started with us about three years ago. Having uh, Chris around here, it has opened, I think, everybody, 
up to it. And everybody has a better understanding that first, everybody's a little apprehensive. They weren't, they weren't sure what to expect, but now Chris like here has become part of the, part of the crew. The sense of community that Chris feels in this, in this town is the utmost importance to him. We've given Chris all the supports he needs to make the right decisions and to leave a good, healthy life and, and he's making good choices. He's found, literally found a home here and I think he's going to be with us a long, long time. It does feel like a home, you know, just getting known, everybody around Pie Falls, you know, you make great friends, you, make, you meet a lot of people. It's almost like, it's almost like, you know, this is where you belong. You know, I can live here forever. Really.